APIs can be used to interact with your infrastructure. So you could use them to gather information from your infrastructure, and you can also use them to configure your infrastructure. So for instance, you could use them to um, you know, gather the name of access points you have currently deployed in your network, and you could also use them to, let's say, change the name of one of these access points. The beauty of APIs is that you can also integrate them into scripts, so you can actually automate some of the process and th this opens up a whole new way of you know, configuring our network, maintaining and, and troubleshooting some of our issues happening on our networks. So in this video today, I wanted to show you how you could uh, you know, set up the, uh, your system to actually communicate via APIs to the MIST dashboard. And I'll show you how to actually send your first, very first API call uh, to the MIST dashboard. And um, so the first thing you need to do is actually navigate to the MIST dashboard. So you go to manage.mist.com and sign in into your MIST dashboard, right? So here you'll say, I'll just sign into my, my dashboard. Uh, and this will be important because uh, you will not be able to access the API documentation if you're not connect, actually logged in into your dashboard. So you first need to log in into your dashboard. Once you log in, what you could do is, you know, go, let's say, to the access point page. I just want to show you, I have a couple of access points here deployed uh, at my house. And if you want to access the API documentation, uh, the easiest way to do it is to go, you know, to the, uh, to the help icon all the way on the top right hand corner. You can click on it and then you have this API documentation button you can click on. It will open a new tab and you will get access to all the API documentations. If I show you an example of some of the APIs doc documentation we have, so I can click, click on, uh, let's say, uh, WLAN, right? And here they will tell us, okay, you can actually retrieve the list of all of, all of your SSID profiles, the WLAN profile, if you use this API call. I'll show you how we can use these later on. Okay, then uh, what you would need is you would need to install an application that it's called Postman, and this Postman application allows you to pretty much configure and set up your API calls, and they'll be used to send those APIs, API calls to the MIST dashboard. Um, the MIST dashboard uses RESTful APIs, which is uh, pretty much based on the HTTP protocol. So you'll see that to build our API calls, we will pretty much build a URL type of uh, a sequence and then send the Postman application will send that to the MIST dashboard and retrieve and show us the answer. Um, so the Postman application, you can you know, uh, download it from the internet, install it, and the first time you open it, it will be pretty much empty, okay? And what you want to do is you want to click on the plus here, right? And by default, this new tab will be a get, right? A request, a get request. And here, um, we'll be able to pretty much type, you see, enter the, the request URL. So here we'll tap our request that will be sent to the MIST dashboard. Okay, so how do we build that request? Well, first, the first thing is to um, uh, go and get the, the API token from the API uh, documentation on the MIST dashboard. So we can actually be authorized to send an API request, right? This is some sort of authorization that we have to set up to make sure that, you know, when we send a request to the MIST dashboard, the MIST dashboard understand who we are and authorize us to actually do the, you know, perform the request, okay? So in order to get the authorization, we need to get the API token, okay? So how do we get the API token? Uh, you have to go back to the MIST uh, documentation, the API MIST documentation, and in there you'll find a link called API token. So you can click on the API token, it will open up the, uh, the documentation on how to get a token, and here what you could do is, you know, actually copy the URL, open a new tab, paste it, and here I'm going to copy the, the post URL here, and I'm going to paste it into my, um, my browser here, and I forgot a slash, so I'll put that. And then here, all the way at the bottom, you can click on post, and this will create your token for you. 
And as you can see here, I have my key, which is a token. So I can copy this. Make sure you keep this one handy somewhere because you probably need it again. And then you go back to Postman. And uh, in the Postman application, uh, under the headers tab right here, you will add a key. And the key, the name of the key will be authorization. Uh, so you see it's you find it there. And for the value, you have to put token space, and then you have to paste the key that you just got. Uh, and then the second thing you need to do is you need to specify which format will be uh, will be sent by the MIST API dashboard. And that um, that uh, um, content uh, uh, type is JSON. So you can just for search for content type, and then you do JSON, and you have something called application dot uh, slash JSON, right? And then when you have that set up, this means that you know when you will send your request, you'll be authorized, and then you'll you will expect that the MIST dashboard will send you a JSON back. Uh, then you can go back to the parameter and pretty much the default uh, tab here. And now we just have to build our URL, okay? And to build our URL, we need to understand, okay, what are we going to ask, it, you know, the, the MIST dashboard? What type of information do you want to gather? So here, just as an example, I want to retrieve, uh, you know, the list of access point deployed at my, at my house, right? So in order to do that, you know, which URL do I need? And in order to find that out, I go back to the MIST API documentation. And if I scroll down here under the site section, I have a subsection called device. When I click on device, right, I see that I can get the list of devices on a specific site, right? So that sounds all good. And here I have the get API um, URL. So I can copy this one here. Um, and since I don't know exactly which device, you know, I want to, uh, to call, I want to see all devices. So I'm just going to stop here and get this part of the URL. I'm going to go back on Postman, right? And here you see that I have this colon site ID. So here I actually need to replace that piece of URL here by the site ID that the specific site ID that my house have. Okay, so in order to find that site ID, you need to go back into the dashboard. And the easiest way to, to do it is actually go back to the dashboard, go back to the access point um, page. And in the URL of the access point page, you'll see at the very end, you have an ID here. And this is your site ID, right? This is the ID identifying my Sendfire HQ site here. So I can just copy this one and then go back to Postman and then, you know, paste it instead of the colon site ID, right? And here, if I try this, uh, we, it will not work right away. I have to specify the, act, the full URL. So in order to do that, I usually go back to the MIST, you know, API and I copy the, the first section of it, the api.mist.com. Don't forget the HTTPS, that's important here. And here I should have my full URL ready to send. And here I'm going to request all the devices at this specific, deployed at this specific site, right? So let's try it out. I click on send and it's sending the request. And as you can see, we have a response. So this block of te text that you see here, this JSON text is sent uh, back from the MIST dashboard, all right? So that's a good news. It means that we got authorized, our token ID worked, and it means that we also had, we sent a, a GET request that, was, that, that got understood by the MIST dashboard. So that's also a good sign. So it means everything worked well here. If there's something wrong, you'll get an error back from the MIST dashboard, or it will tell you that the request wasn't successful and you can try to see you know, what went wrong. All right, so now if we try to analyze the result of that request, we can see we have a JSON organized text. And here we can see that we have two elements, right? We have one first device here and then a second device right here, okay? And if we look a little bit closer, we can see that we have the model. So here I have an AP43, AP03. 
And then the one at the beginning, I can see that I have a model, AP41, and I can see that the name is actually empty. So this AP, uh, I actually just added it to the dashboard without doing anything. So it's actually not renamed. It still has, you know, the Mac address as a default name. Um, and I'll show you in a different, uh, in a different video, how we could, you know, leverage Python and leverage script to actually rename that AP. Uh, so we can use API through a Python script to rename an object or change, you know, a configuration on the MIST dashboard. One last thing I want to show you before we close this video is, you know, this key table here. And what you can do if we go back to the MIST uh, documentation here, remember we have this, you know, name equal AP001. So these ones are the specific keys that, that you can specify, you know, if you want to retrieve the details of one specific device that you have the name for, right? So let's say here in our case, we only want to get the details related to the Symfoyo AP03, what I can do is I can go back to the top of my request here and specify that I want to add a key called name and I only want to uh, retrieve data for the AP named Symfoyo AP03. And you can see that as I add my keys and my values here, it uh, Postman directly adds them at the the end of my URL request, so I don't actually don't have to do it manually, right? And then when I'm ready, I can actually you know resend that request, and then here we now see only the results of that um, uh, access points, only the data related to that specific access points. All right, so Postman will allow you to create your uh, your API calls. And essentially, it's used to test them to make sure that you have the proper request, the proper syntax, uh, the proper response. It's also used to analyze, you know, the, the, the response you get, how the response is structured. Um, so you can, you know, decide what you want to do. And usually what you would do is you would create a script that would send that API request and then analyze the results and, you know, maybe do something with the results. Um, that, that you get from the dashboard. All right, guys, that, that's it. That's how you build your first API to interact with the MIST dashboard. I hope this video, this video would be uh, useful to you guys. Um, and then I'll follow up with a couple of, you know, uh, videos related to the same type of uh, subject uh, on how to use APIs to, you know, monitor and configure your, your MIST uh, dashboard. Thank you. Bye-bye.